Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Ball versus Rios is on video as Nick Ball, the undefeated w and newly crowned WBA featherweight champion of the world is set to return and make the first defense of his title when he takes on former two-time world title challenger Ronnie Rios on October 5th. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So this fight um, is, uh, you know, it's it's somewhat exciting. I mean, it's it, at first I didn't like the fight. I'm going to be honest, um, because Nick Ball just went in there against Ray Vargas, fought to a draw on the big um, Joshua Naganu undercard in March. Um, as he challenged for the WBC title. And then in June, on the 5 versus 5 card, he got another opportunity at a title when he took on Ray Ford, who was undefeated. And he um, walked away with a very close split decision win and became the new WBA champion. So after two top-tier opponents like that, I was a little disappointed that he chose Ronnie Rios as his first defense. But then again, I'm understanding because he's staying active and he's fighting a guy that does bring it. Ronnie Rios has always brought it. He's a, he's a gamer. Um, he might be overmatched in this fight, Rios, but he's definitely, um, uh, you know, a serious, um, a serious contender, you know, uh, yeah, but, um, he is, like I said, he's overmatched with, um, with, uh, ball ball is, is just, um, how do I say it? He's fighting on, another level and he's now the world champion and this could be um you know rios's last opportunity at something um at at a world title you know he's uh he fought years ago against ray vargas and gave him you know gave him a tough bout but he lost a clean decision and then um he challenged uh mirage on um and uh you know came up short in that one uh and got stopped in the late rounds of that fight um he did return and got a win over a guy named nicholas polanco a veteran kind of journeyman he defeated him in his last fight in april um after taking almost two years off in between fights after the loss to mj but he's back he's getting an opportunity i think in terms of stylistically it's a good matchup i think these two guys are going to chuck for a while um, but I, you know, but again, Nick Ball is the odds on favorite heading into this fight. He's fighting at home. Um, the fight says TNT sports, but I think, um, they're going to link in with, uh, with, um, ESPN and get the fight, uh, out there for everybody. Um, I do think, no, I think that was another one. Um, but there's ways of finding these fights. Um, you just have to really look for them. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good, a good, a good little fight here. A good first title defense for Ball, um, as he get, lines himself up for either mandatories or uh, unifying belts. As there's three, um, as there's three overall world champions that uh, will work with each other, and the fourth one is a guy that Ball fought. So obviously the PBC is on board to work with them as well. I think featherweight in general in 2025 is going to be pretty exciting. We're going to see a better fight. So um, we're going to see what goes down. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see what happens. Um, that's it. That's what I got. That's my um, Ball versus Rios is on video as they collide for the WBA featherweight championship of the world on October 5th. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing, and you've been hit with the truth.